Hello everyone, this is Mathematics 9. Our topic for today will be all about trigonometric functions. As you can see right now, this is a right triangle. We have here our angle at the top of the triangle. So we have three sides, hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. Hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite to the right angle. While the adjacent side is always the side near or beside the angle of interest. And the opposite side will be at the opposite part of the angle of interest. So if we move our angle below, as you can observe, the adjacent side and opposite side are switched. So if you can see, the opposite side is the leg and the base is the adjacent side because it is near the angle of interest. Now that we know about the right triangle, let us discuss about the trigonometric function. So we have three primary trigonometric ratio or function. These are called sine th theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. So our abbreviation for these trigonometric functions are this on the center part of the table. You can see here sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. And our length ratio depends on your angle in, of interest. So let's see it one by one. First, the sine theta. For sine theta, we have here opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite here means the opposite of the angle of interest, which is the leg. And the hypotenuse will be the opposite of the right angle. So this is the ratio for the length of the sine theta trigonometric function. Next, we have here the cosine theta is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. And for the tangent theta, we have opposite over adjacent so you can just refer to the figure on the left side let us gather all the primary trigonometric functions so we have here sine theta cosine theta and tangent theta memorizing or learning the trigonometric length ratios will always be confusing so we have here a shortcut to memorize or easily memorize the length ratio. So this is the Sokatoa. Sokatoa. For so we have sine theta S opposite O and H hypotenuse. And ka for cosine theta. We have here C cosine A adjacent and H hypotenuse. So, cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Lastly, we have tangent. So, T tangent theta is equal to O opposite over adjacent, which is the A. So, this is Soka Toa. Okay, let us have an example. Let us determine the length ratio of each primary trigonometric function. Let's start with sine theta. With our angle of interest below, we have opposite over hypotenuse, which is so. So we have 6 over 11. For cosine theta, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have 9 over 11. Lastly, for tangent theta, we have Toa, opposite over adjacent. So, we have 6 over 9. Next, let's move our angle of interest. 
So again, let's just use so katoa. So for sine theta, we have so opposite over hypotenuse, which is 9 over 11. And for cosine theta, we have ka adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is equal to 6 over 11. And lastly, tangent theta, which is towa opposite over adjacent, we have 9 over 6. Okay, that's it for our example. Let's proceed to the reciprocals of this primary trigonometric function. So what are the reciprocals of the primary trigonometric functions? We have here for sine theta, 1 over sine theta. For cosine theta, we have 1 over cosine theta. And for tangent theta, we have 1 over tangent theta. Okay, let us now proceed to this table. We have here 1 over sine theta. So you can also call this cosecant theta or for the abbreviation we have CSC theta. For the length ratio, it will also be the reciprocal of sine theta. So since sine theta is so, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. This goes the same to 1 over cosecant theta and 1 over tangent theta. So 1 over cosecant theta is equal to or called second theta. For the abbreviation, we have here SEC theta or sec theta. And let's proceed with 1 over tangent theta, also called as cotangent theta. Or for the abbreviation, we have COT theta. Okay, so we have here the complete reciprocal. So for sine theta, we have opposite over hypotenuse. And for the cosecant, we have here hypotenuse over opposite. For cosine theta, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. And for the second, we have hypotenuse over adjacent. Lastly, for the tangent theta, we have opposite over adjacent. Well, for the cotangent theta, we have adjacent over the opposite. Basically, this is just the reciprocals of the primary trigonometric functions. Okay, let's have an example for the reciprocals. So, the cosecant of this figure is we have 11 over 7 since it is hypotenuse over opposite. And for the second theta of this figure is hypotenuse over adjacent, which is 11 over 7. And the cotangent theta of this figure is adjacent over opposite. So we have 8 over 7. That's it for our trigonometric function. So we have sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, second theta, and cotangent theta. Let us now proceed to our special angles. For special triangles, we have two triangles. We have 45, 45, 90 triangle and 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let's first discuss the 45, 45, 90 triangle. This is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this is a special triangle because this is a right triangle that has two 45 degree angle meaning if one side of this triangle is 1, then the other side must be also 1. And the hypotenuse is square root of 2. So let's determine the trigonometric function for this figure or for this triangle. So for the sine theta, we have here opposite over hypotenuse. 
we have 1 over square root of 2. For cosine theta, we have opposite or adjacent rather over hypotenuse. We have here 1 over square root of 2 since the adjacent is also 1. For tangent theta, we have opposite over adjacent. We have 1 over 1 or simply just 1. For the cosecant theta, second theta and cotangent theta is just the reciprocal of the primary trigonometric function. So we have cosecant theta, we have square root of 2 over 1 and second theta, square root of 2 over 1 and cotangent theta, 1 over 1 or just simply 1. So this is for the 45-45-90 triangle. So, for the second triangle, we have 30, 60, 90 triangle. If we can recall our geometry, if the shorter leg of this triangle has a length of 1, then the other side is square root of 3, and then the hypotenuse is 2. You can just refer to this figure here. So let us determine the trigonometric functions for the two degrees, so the 30 degrees and the 60 degrees angle. For the 30 degrees, we have here sine theta opposite over hypotenuse, we have here 1 half. For cosine theta, we have square root of 3 over 2. And for tangent theta, we have 1 over square root of 3. For 60 degrees, we have sine theta, square root of 3 is over 2, cosine theta is equal to 1 half or 1 over 2, and tangent theta is equal to square root of 3 over 1. And then for the cos second, second, and cotangent, you just simply put the reciprocal for the primary trigonometric function. So, cos second theta for 30 degrees is 2 over 1. Then, for cos for second theta, we have here 2 over square root of 3. And for cotangent, square root of 3 over 1. Same goes with 60 degrees. We have here cos second theta, 2 over square root of 3. Second theta, 2 over 1 or just simply 2. And cotangent theta, we have here 1 over square root of so that is all for our discussion for today about the trigonometric functions. Thank you for listening and see you next time. Enjoyed and learned a lot? Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video.